All right, guys, welcome to the Wolf Link Guide here. If you did not know, from the Wolf Link Amiibo, which was out with the Twilight Princess Zelda game, you can summon Wolf Link in the game to help Link in his adventures. The way you do this is by, of course, using the Amiibo rune. The way you activate that is through your options. As you can see here, you have an Amiibo option. You turn that on. Once you have the Sheikah tablet, you then get an Amiibo function. You put that on, pull this out, you get the little yellow circle, take your Amiibo, scan them in, and you get Wolf Link. Now, if you've never played Twilight Princess and haven't done the saves to get him 20 hearts, your Wolf Link is going to start with 3 hearts. There are ways out there that you can get a 20 heart Wolf Link without playing Tri Twilight Princess, but I'll leave that up to you in researching that. As you can see, upon summon, Wolf Link becomes your companion who will fight for you and kill enemies. Uh, this is really helpful early on in the beginning of the game as you are more vulnerable than I am typically right now. But he will fight for you. Fight alongside you, pull aggro off of you as well. There are many other functions that he does, and we're going to talk about those now. First following, as you can see, if you have Wolf Link out, you can summon him once a day. Um, so 24-hour period, meaning that resets at 12 a.m. So if you were to summon him for the first time, in that day at say 11 p.m. and you got him killed right away uh, in an hour you could resummon him for another 24 hour period but once he dies he does not come back to life until that day at midnight when you can then resummon him that goes with all amiibos that are used in this game you can use them at midnight again but here's one thing Wolf Link will not warp with you but if you do happen to warp and you come out of the warp fearing you know you don't see wolf link there with you and you're like oh no i lost my wolf link i can't use him again that is not true as you will see right here when i show you we'll speed up through the loading screen when we come out we'll show him Okay, so we warped. Here we are. Our wolf link is gone. He does not travel through time or space, whatever it is in this game, with you. But all you do is simply use your amiibo ability, rescan him, and he is back. So have no fear when you travel with wolf link. He is not gone. He does come back. He is not gone until he dies. Once he dies, then that is when you cannot resummon him until after midnight to be used once again. Let's dive into some more features of Wolf Link. We'll talk about other ways you can use him. As you guys can see here, Wolf Link is damaged. He needs some health. The way we're going to do this is there's several ways. One way is we can feed him food to help him gain his health back. You can use all kinds of different things, your meats, your fishes, your fruits, anything. Throw a bunch on the ground. He'll start to grub. As you can see, as he's eating them, his hearts are filling up. And he's getting a little bit of what looks like a half a heart each time he eats a fish. So it's a good thing to use those extra materials that you're gaining. So, Actually, he is gaining a full heart per fish as he's got four and a half down there on the bottom. Should eat one more. Now he's at five and a half. So that's how you can get him up using those ingredients that are taking, taking a lot of place in your inventory that you don't typically always use. Feed him some food. Give him some health. Get him back in full action with you.
I'm going to show you another way to feed Wolf Link. As you can see, we've got two enemy wolves here. Wolf Link is missing health. On this bottom row, he's got four and a quarter. He engages the wolves, takes one down. That wolf dropped a piece of meat. Wolf Link sees the meat. He will go over and eat it to get health back. So if there is lying food on the ground, whether you've thrown it out there for him or he's killed something that drops meat, fruit, what have it, he will go over to it if he sees it and eat it to get his health back. Wolf Link doesn't like to have low health, so make sure you feed him or he will feed himself. So if you are looking to actually farm that meat, you better be quicker than him to get over to pick it up or else he's going to go eat it or make sure he has full health so that he doesn't go and eat it if he is engaging alongside you. Another thing you can do with Wolf Link is you can actually tell him to stay. If you don't want him to go after and attack enemies, you just use your left trigger here to target him. Hit A to issue the stay command. As you can see, I run away. And his icon, he is still back there. He stays. I can use down on the D-pad to whistle. And he comes running. Um, you can also do this as well. Tell him to stay again. Then use the left trigger. As you'll see, I run away from him. He's staying in place. I can come back to him. Use left trigger. And then hit A to give him the come command. And he is following me, and off we go. He can also be used to help you locate things you are looking for, special ingredients, whatnot. If you've taken a picture of them, uh, you can use your tablet to locate those items. And Wolf Link will help you locate those items. As you can see here, I pull up and I am targeting the honey beehives. I was doing this to upgrade a piece of armor. It is active. And as you can see, as we travel along, watch the um, radar there down in the bottom right as I'm getting nothing yet. But as soon as we start picking something up on that tracker, you'll see what Wolf Link does. He will start to take command. You can see I've got it on the tracker. I'm going to stop here. And Wolf Link will take the lead. Now he is actually tracking that item that you have selected to track with your tablet. So if you just let him take the lead, he will take you right to it so that you're not wandering around um, trying to pinpoint it yourself. So let him go. As you can see, we're still following for the bee honey. And he will take you there. Give him a little space to work. He's on the trail. He's getting closer. Found him a little animal in the way. Takes that animal out. We're back on the trail. Wolf Link is in the lead. Otherwise, he runs alongside of you until he, you know, wants to go attack something or whatnot. So we're hunting down this beehive. I'll continue to follow him as he leads the way. We're getting closer. You can see our signal is getting very strong. Approaching this tree. He sees it. He'll stop to bark at it, showing you where it is, helping you locate those items a lot easier. Um, it works out really good for things like the beehive or other items that are not as hard to or not as easy to locate. The only time he has trouble is for things that are kind of in trees. I know I was using him to try to help me find those little beetles. I don't know if you've ever seen them, but there's the yellow beetles, the blue beetles, or whatnot that are used to upgrade certain armor and a lot of the times those beetles are on trees so he kind of gets confused when it's up on a tree like that with the beehive scene he's okay but some items you'll find he doesn't pinpoint as well and that's just another function of wolf link I'll just show you a little bit more of his tracking feature. Um, we're still out tracking those beehives. Get caught up in a fight here. It takes us off track. But we're on the trail for one. Wolf Link's on it. He takes the lead. We're getting close. You can see he's going up to the tree. He finds it. He turns to look at you. 
letting you know he's found what you're looking for. There it is. We'll drop that down. Pick it up and continue on. Uh, there's no enemies around. So Wolf Link is following alongside. He sees the, you can see him, he pointed to the hive there as I had knocked it down out of the tree to alert me of where it was. Chases off some birds and we're back on the hunt again. He stays close by when you don't have anything in range that is going off of your tablet. So he'll continue to do his thing of attacking little animals around, attacking enemies that are nearby until you come within range of the item you're looking for and your tablet starts beeping at you that's when he'll take the lead and take you to the item you're looking for and once again we're on the trail of another hunting beehive so i let him take the lead i'm just kind of wandering around picking up some mushrooms that are here uh, kind of keeping an eye on him where he's going watching him on my map and seeing where he goes you see what he does. He's located it. He turns around to look at me to signal me he's found it. I see it. I walk up just to be nice. I throw him an apple. He's not going to eat it though because he's full. Knock down my honey hive. Deal with the bees that are now ticked off. Knock those away. He won't attack the bees and bats for some reason. Maybe if they're too high. There we go. Some things you need to be wary of when using Wolf Link is he takes damage pretty easy. You know, he doesn't have good defense. So when you go to fight the mini bosses, like these Henoxes and Lionels, uh, be aware of that. And you may want to leave him back out of the fight so that he doesn't get killed very easy. Uh, this thing isn't that much of a threat as I can kill it pretty fast and not have to worry about Wolf Link getting hit. But. Things like Lynels and enemies that do big AOEs, the, they do a lot of damage to Wolf Link, and especially if you only have a three heart Wolf Link, he's most likely going to die. So be careful of what you're engaging when you have him out if you do come up on an enemy mini boss and you don't want him to fight, then you better uh, leave him back with the stay command far out of range and in safety. Do that if you happen to run up on something and you're not paying attention say you do engage a lionel and you're like oh crap wolf links out i don't want him to die just bring up your map real quick and teleport away so that wolf link will disappear then you can go back fight that lionel kill the lionel get a safe area and then you can resummon wolf link to join you at your side so just be careful of that because Wolf Link's instinct is to attack. So if you engage something like that or he sees it and he's in range, he's going after it. And if you can't catch it in time, especially if you have low hearts on your Wolf Link, you're probably going to lose him to death and not be able to get him back until, you know, the midnight strikes of the next day. Then you can resummon him. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys, showing you some things maybe you didn't know about Wolf Link. We talked about how to use him, how you can only use him once a day after 12 a.m., how you can travel with him and resummon him as long as he has not died. Showed you how he can help you track down them certain items you're looking for, whether it's something you need to cook with, uh, if you're tracking certain enemies, or you're looking for certain items that you need to collect. For a quest, Wolf Link can help you. He's definitely helpful. Probably the most helpful amiibo that you can use with this game. The next one I would say would maybe be the Link that gives you uh, Link's horse, Epona, the maxed out horse. Those are probably the two most helpful amiibos to go along with this game. You know, the other ones you can get other items some of the outfits but as far as usefulness i do think wolf link is the best especially if you have are able to get him with 20 hearts at three hearts he's not very useful because he will die very quickly but at 20 and especially being able to feed him to get his health back up and him feeding himself by attacking animals and eating the meat 
He's a great companion in the game. This is Tease Monkey. Hope this video was helpful. I know it's kind of long, but we just had to talk about everything. Don't forget to give it a like. Throw some comments down there. Please subscribe to the channel. Show me your support, especially if this video was helpful. Let me know some other videos you may need some help on. Check out my playlist. I've got a lot of tip videos out there. Until then, hopefully you enjoy your Wolf Link and you learn some new things. We'll see you later.